Take two more downstairs and then go back up to the press box. Go ahead right here. Yeah, Danny, one more thing. Um, how much of what we saw with you going there, that charging at the end, I mean, I don't know, bullied or whatever, just pushing yourself to the win, was of a guy that was so desperate wanting to win because of the rough start you had and how much it was just four tires? Uh, half and half. Four tires were definitely big for us. But, you know, it would have been hard to, to not win this race as good as what our, our car was. And obviously with the points position that we were in, you know, we need to make up some points and, and get some bonus points for the chase. And, um, you know, the, the 48 is going to be hard enough to beat on a level playing field in the chase or, or anyone for that matter. But, you know, you start to give them 80 more bonus points, 60 more bonus points going into it. You know, that's that's one bad race he gets for free, you know. So uh, you got to kind of manage that and make sure you stay close to him. For for sure, and, and Jeff was Jeff was pushing, and you know I don't know if what cut his tire down, whether it was just maybe brake heat or something like that, or or he maybe it just cut one down, but he was really pushing hard there towards the end. I felt like I knew, even though we pitted, when when the thirty was thirty one was getting to us with about thirty to go, I knew there was a good chance we were going to have to end on these race tires, even if a caution came out. So I really was kind of being patient. And even though he was kind of rattling us there at one point and really getting close to us, I really felt like if I needed to turn it up, I could. And, you know, once we did, it seemed like we could, you know, we pulled that gap and then he blew a tire. But I would have loved to race Jeff for the win there at the end. I mean, he's that was, that was one of the best cars I've seen at Martinsville in a while uh, other than ourselves. Go ahead, Jim. Jim Utter, Charlotte Observer. Denny, uh, having been in here Saturday and talked about you were looking forward to getting past your surgery. Uh, regardless of medical advice, having won today, are you? Do you still feel that way? Do you feel a sense of uh, now that you've won that you wish you could get back out and continue to do those kinds of things? And do you fear that the surgery will somehow take away from what you were able to accomplish today? I don't think so. Um, you know, regardless of what happened today or points position that we were in before or after today. It's something that had to be done, and you know, it's you know I think everyone, and I appreciate Joe and JD kind of being, you know, lenient. I mean, they could be hollering at me for you know having to do this, and of course you know this is a non-racing uh, incident, um, but you know they've they've definitely helped me, and they know that you know I told them my concerns with long-term damage, and the doctor expressed long-term damage uh, possibilities, and and they thought that the best thing to do was just you know, we felt like we were not going to sacrifice our season if we did this at this point, and that's what that was a determining factor. Let's go back upstairs to the press box. Dustin Long for Landmark Newspapers. Uh, Denny, a couple things. Is there a way to describe uh, the satisfaction for you today compared to your other wins? Um, this almost sounds like, in a way, you're in kind of part of your mind, it was almost a must win to some degree. And secondly, uh, off those last two restarts, is there anybody that you owe apologies or thank you notes to? I owe a thank you to the 20, no apologies. Because uh, <laughs> uh, I, I can tell you, I've been in the position where I've been out there on old tires and the guys with new tires, and they just run flat over you. And I, and I felt like I, I didn't do that. I, I got into the back of the 39 on the, on the first corner, but other than that, um, didn't touch anyone. I forced the 20 to let me in, uh, kind of run him down, down the back straight away to, to let me in. But I think, you know, it all worked out for the best for the both of us. So, um, you know, no, I mean, it's just part of short track racing. It's always going to happen. Whenever you have new tires versus old tires, it, you're going to have contact. There's no doubt about it. And, um, you know, gratifying, this is the most, probably the most gratifying win that I've had simply because we came through adversity so many times, whether it be because of pit road or that, that dash at the end, and we just flat out drove through them at the end and, uh, and got the win. That I'm not sure we've gotten a win like this before. It looks like this could be our final question. Go ahead. Guys, uh, for all three of y'all, y'all can feel free to answer this. Uh, Martinsville, a lot of people have referred to it as sort of a springboard for y'all's season. How do y'all feel about that right now, especially considering that the first couple of races were pretty rough and obviously a great run today? Well, I feel like we haven't even got a chance to show what we have yet, uh, you know, through the course of this year. We, we've we had three blown tires in the first five races. 
Um, and that, that really took a damper. Atlanta, we could have won that race. We definitely felt like we could have won that race. Uh, Bristol, we never really got to show what we had uh, before we cut a tire. So, you know, yeah, this is usually where we start turning it up. And um, I don't see that, you know, that, that bar, you know, that's going up, going down anytime soon. I, th I think it's still going to keep getting better. And for whatever reason, it just takes a little while for me and Mike to kind of get back in rhythm and figure out what we need on each race day. And I think it's starting to come through again. Okay, guys, J.D., Denny, and Mike, congratulations. And, Denny, good luck with your uh, surgery. surgery. <laughs>